I'm Shoma Chaudhary. I'm the founder of Lucid Lines. <laughs> Actually, science and tech is the new hand of God that is reshaping everything. What we, at the heart of it, want to look at is the dynamic, the shifting, disturbing, exhilarating, complicated dynamic between nature, humans, and technology. The anxiety is about whether technology will change what it means to be human. No one in this room is going to say that the future world in which we exist is going to be simpler. Take over the tedious and repetitive and those kind of tasks and let you focus at a higher level. It's going to be more complex. This immense machine that nobody really understands how it works. It's similar to How to Train a Dragon where we don't have a set playbook. How do we constrain the political power of the large technology companies who are responsible for generating it? So do you think this is one of the biggest tests of democracy that we've had? If the production process does not generate income for me, then I can't afford it. It's a more political economy question, not just a technology question. It doesn't have imagination, it doesn't have passion, it doesn't even have an unhappy childhood. Now if I create something on Sora, does it belong to me or does it belong to Sora? I don't know if you can train an AI model to be an Amitabh Bachchan with eight years of, you know, experience behind him with so much poetry from generations. The people who survive will be the masters. And why do you want to, you know, why creative people want to create? They want to, there's a very fire in your belly, you want to say something. So no, just for the moment, just humor us. Gana ga do. Aap AI se gawaiye na. So no, ki kya zarurat? All the sessions have great, great, and good, better, best. A, the quality of speakers. B, the topics. These two really were more than enough to excite me for the conference. About new technologies, about new ways of thinking, about new ways of interacting. Conversations have really stimulated me. It got me really excited. Absolutely brilliant. Disturbing sign-ups gave us a lot of information. Right questions being asked. Stupendous. We're going through, in effect, two climate changes in once. One in the change of the climate, and one in the change of the climate of technology. Maybe we actually have almost a moral duty to spread life, intelligence, consciousness, and complexity in the universe. If you think the holy grail is consciousness, these drugs allow you to shift consciousness. Birds and whales use quantum navigation. So if they can do it, we can do it. I'm a risk taker. I'd rather try to do something I felt would be really, really important. I'd rather try and fail than not try. We, we've since implanted six individuals with this technology and, and they're all similarly able to independently control a device with thought alone. Scientists themselves are very uncomfortable with what you did. This medicine is for the people. I'm here to fight for their biological freedom. There is a new view of what technology and its role in society has to be. And that is coming from India. India is going to be the land of open source. The topics were so interesting and so engaging. A wonderful galaxy of speakers. Mind-blowing. Excellent arrangements, brilliant content. Most well-organized event. AI will do better than doctors. Nonsense. The disease is dynamic. The humans are also dynamic. And we need to connect them. Quantum mechanics uh, uh, violates realism. AI is one more proof of the uniqueness of consciousness, and I'll tell you why.